what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Monday, as people across South Florida participated in one of the many Wheels Up, Guns Down events, a Miami man was caught on video yelling the N-word as some boys participating in the celebration, which is intended to show that there are better things to do with your time than to perpetuate gun violence. In the video captured by a member of the Dream Defenders, a woman pushes one of the young men she claims ran over her toes. However, footage of the video shows that no such thing ever happened. The boys did not touch her, but she continued to berate them and call them a bunch of thugs. Midway through the video, a man emerges from an SUV wielding a firearm. The woman tells the man that one of the boys ran over her foot and she points him out. The boys scatter and Captain Sabertoe immediately begins to call them a bunch of dumb niggers and stupid niggers. Who is this dumb, stupid nigger calling a bunch of boys peacefully protesting dumb, stupid niggers? He goes by the name of Mark Allen Bartlett. He apparently had no idea you couldn't go around shooting people for running over somebody's toes, totally misinterpreting Florida's stand your ground law. Guess what this backwoods, dumbass ignoramus said? He told the police, why am I being arrested when these boys are free to ride around? Yeah, I pulled my gun out, but I never pointed it at them. You already know that's a lie. That just sounds like a lie. You don't even have to be on the scene, didn't have to watch the video or nothing. You know he lying. Check out how they played a victim when they are the aggressor. It is absolutely amazing. You know what will stop that? When they start getting downed, that'll stop it. The videos to get around, the word to get around. You know what? Every time that happens, that happens. Ah, I really want to do it, but not a good idea because boy, do I love breathing. Who I love is oxygen. Ooh, let me stop playing. That's what would happen, guarantee you. Had no fear. You had absolutely no fear because he just felt safe. And even when he got arrested, he still had no clue that he was wrong. He just felt like it was his birthright to pull a gun on a bunch of kids because a woman said so. A woman said that her Foot, somebody ran over her foot with a bicycle. He didn't even know if it was an accident or not, even if, it, even if they did do it, which they didn't, but even if they did run over her foot, run over her toe, he didn't, on purpose, he had no clue. He didn't even know because he asked no questions. He just, oh, that ain't all, oh, here you go, you know, start pointing guns. Somebody would have downed his ass. Oh, man, that would have been beautiful. Oh, man. I'd be toasting right now. That's all it takes. These dudes were minding their own business, peacefully protesting on Martin Luther King's holiday. A day of peace. Beautiful day. I mean, just how could you not enjoy MLK Day? This is the king of peace. He probably every year have a bad day just accepting that. He probably can't stand the fact that Martin Luther King has a birthday night. Of course, he'll take the day off and get paid, but he can't stand the idea of acknowledging that a black man, however peaceful, has a holiday. Look at this self-entitled coward. 
pulling guns on boys. But he would pull a gun on anybody because he's a coward. You know he can't fight. That's why he pulled guns. People like him, he got to have a gun because he can't fight. Straight up coward. If you know him, call him out. If you know his employer, call him out. Get at the employer. Let him know what type of person they're working with. If he's self-employed, call the people who work with him. Put them on notice. Get on social media. Find them. Inundate their emails. Inundate their inboxes. Let them know who they're working with. Let them know what type of person he is. He got the right kind of name, Mark. Because he's a straight up Mark. Mark, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?